crescendo. 2046 just in a tune up as they have clinched the number one seed, but still plenty on the line for other teams on the field. CQ ranked seventh, Squim currently ranked sixth, and opportunities for them to move. 2046 comes up a bit short on that one. Only two notes finding their way home for the Red Alliance to one for the blue, and the Red Alliance with a 12 to 11 lead early on. Tread very quick back to the red side of the field to begin their defensive efforts. And they've parked themselves in front of the speaker, but 9446 CQ has no problem with that. They'll just go to the side and continue to barrage of notes on the red speaker. 5937 MI Robotics making their way around the red stage, looking for a scoring opportunity. Meanwhile, for the Blue Alliance, it's Surf 3826 who puts one up and in. Now they head back and join Wolf Tech Robotics 8896 in the Blue Source Zone trying to find an opportunity for more scoring. Seen blue penalty flags waving, and that may be part of why the Red Alliance now leads 44 to 17, as penalty points may be accruing on the Blue Alliance, thanks to just a little bit of difficulty with 3219's defensive work. 8896, Wolf Tech back towards the blue speaker. They have a note in tow. Can they put it home? and add to the Blue Alliance score. They've got a minute and five seconds left on the game, but Wolf Tech seems to be having some difficulties lining up. Surf's gonna come in, and 88.96 finally ejects. That note comes up just short, 38.26, similar problems, and they'll have to step back and try again. Bare Metal back through the Blue Sage, working their way around 94.46 C cubed, and back to the red side of the field. Bare Metal goes up and into the red speaker. No work on the amp so far for either alliance. They seem to be very speaker focused here. And why not? It's 65 to 21 with 60, check that, 30 seconds remaining in qualification match 66. Melody rank points secured for the Red Alliance. The win seems to be in pretty decent shape. Will the Red Alliance make it a clean sweep? 2046 up. They are spotlit. That note is into the trap. And with two red robots off the field and on stage, we might be looking at the highest endgame stage score we have seen yet here at Bonnelly Lake. We're going to let our referees make their final determinations. And we will let you know if it's official in just a moment. Everything confirmed for qualification match 66. It will be a Red Alliance victory as they take it home 82 to 26, but more impressively, 13 stage points for the Red Alliance. Thanks to two robots on stage, one spotlet and a robot in a uh, note, excuse me, in a trap. That helps the Red Alliance to all four possible ranking points. Fair Metal had already secured the number one seed, but they just add sugar on top. Meanwhile, CQ moves up to the number five position, improving their situation. Surf, unfortunately, slips down to number seven, but still in line to be an Alliance captain. Speaking of Alliance.